Hey everyone, good to see ya. And today we're going to be doing a deep dive into stereo width techniques for the Waldorf Blofeld. One of the issues that I see a lot of producers running into in forums and in Facebook groups is that they have issues with making their sounds nice and wide and filling out the mix right and still being mono compatible. So I'm going to cover a few tricks in here that you can use to make your sounds more stereo and mono compatible and give your tracks that nice width that really comprises the bulk of a modern mix down now. And so we're just going to dive right in here. I'm going to play the riff from my old trance tune Daybreak using one of the patches from my Elevate sound set. So you can hear it relatively in the same kind of context, big epic trance pad sound. So we're going to be using that and I'm going to cover a few different techniques for achieving stereo with in a variety of different ways. Whichever one's uh, your preference will kind of vary based on your own taste. So we're just going to roll with that and see where it takes us.
Okay, and just as a quick note for those of you who are following along with your Blofelds and attempting some of these tricks, in some cases they'll be fully mono and stereo compatible and you'll want to test them using an imager plugin that you can use to collapse everything to mono with a switch. I use Isotope Ozone Imager 2 and I just have it set to fully mono and I stick it on a mixer bus channel down at the end and as I'm playing the track back I will just activate it and see how it sounds and see if it collapses to mono properly or if it phases out of existence. And so if I run into that particular issue with a pad or a sound, what I will do is I'll go back to the original patch that I was using and then I'll either turn off the chorus or turn off the widening techniques that I was using so that the sound then collapses itself back to mono without losing most of its regular characteristics. And then I'll re-record that patch and then just line it up inside the track and synchronize it with the other one so that that way when you've got them all set up in your mixer bus however you prefer with sends or submixes or whatever your preferred technique is you can collapse the entire song and expand it back and forth and you won't have any significant loss of signal just gotta adjust your gain so that your stereo doesn't overwhelm the rest of your mix so hope these tips helped and i will catch you all later